27. <clears throat> Seems to have finished dead straight on the blue, which is the worst place he could have finished. A slight angle either side would have been better. And it turns out he did have a slight angle. 34. Well, just as it seemed that Graham Dot might win this opening frame in a single visit, he misses a black from its spot. <coughs> Always very irritating for a class player. And potentially very costly because what? it's exposed him to a counter-attack from Martin Gould. Six. Nine. Well, that's gone wrong. Meanwhile, I can tell you that Li Hang of China has won the opening frame against Michael White of Wales over on table one with a break of 102. Gould's loss of position forced him into taking a much more difficult red than the one that he was hoping for. So this opening frame could still go either way. This is the first group that Dot has played in this year. 
So he still hasn't got the pace of the table. Six. Overran his intended position there, but has red to middle. So if Dot can dispose Night. of the two remaining reds, you'll have this opening frame in the bag. Both players failed to exploit their first chances to the full. Dot breaking down on 34 and Gould 34. on 25, but Dot has got in again and has taken this opening frame. One nil to Graham Dot then over Martin Gould. And there we have Michael White in play against Lee Hang on table one. Lee Hang having taken the opening frame with a century. thought he could get through to the red over the balk pocket but found that he couldn't. Frame two. Frame dot. Back on our own table. Graham Dot gets frame two underway. Grossly overhitting his break off shot and leaving the cue ball on the balk line. None of the long pots available though is without danger. If 
Google goes for any of them. He really needs to get it. Bold shot. Can't get through to the black though, so not a kind run of the ball from that risky pot that he managed to nail. Martin Gould, one. Very tricky safety for Dot. Well, I think what he was trying to do there was hit the red ultra thin via the black cushion the obvious danger of course playing this red is cannoning the black Well, that's two misses from an unsnookered position. So, if he misses again, it's frame forfeit. And anything's better than that. best he could do in the circumstances, hitting the red as full as possible without having a cannon the cue ball as it rebounded from the cushion Still left a possible cutback, but it was awkward. I'm not surprised that Gould didn't pot it. Long red from Dot. Six. Seven. 
tried to open the bunch from the black. Forty. venturesome attempt at a plant. Don't often see those played from distance when both balls are on a cushion. Unlucky. Seven. The second red finishes blocking the pocket for the pink. <clears throat> and he's not quite right for the blue. Is he contemplating the pink in off the black, in off the red? Good effort, that. Betsy. This is certainly a chance to clinch a 2 0 lead. Forty-four. 
51. To go 62 in front, 58. with only 59 on, just as well his opponent already needs a snooker because he lost position with his last shot. Name dot 58. It is only one snooker needed though, so not time to count chickens yet. Yes, that was a return to the ball cushion, but Dot also thought there was a chance of putting the black safe by playing the safety that way, moving the black. He hasn't done that, but Gould still needs a snooker. Well, that was the key ball, Gould thought, in terms of taking all blacks and then trying to lay the snooker that he needs. Unless Gould takes blacks with the three remaining reds, he would need more than one snooker. That's why he attempted that all or nothing red, knowing that he was going to leave Dot an easy chance to what? pot some more balls and thus put himself in an unassailable position. I can tell you that uh, on table one, Lee Hang has taken a 2-0 lead over Michael White. Twenty-two. 
Graham Dodd finishing off the frame in some style. Six. Thirty-one. Thirty-seven. Forty-four. And the threat. Graham Dot. And that's how Graham Dot established a two-nil lead over Martin Gould. Meanwhile, on table one, we've just missed seeing Lee Hang miss a black to left corner. He is 2 0 up, but in best of fives, that can always turn into a 3 2 defeat. Michael White of Wales, winner of the Paul Hunter Classic earlier this season. A couple of seasons ago he won the Indian Open also. And the shootout, the uh, snooker's answer to cricket 2020. The third frame. That comes Martin. round again in a couple of weeks' time. Red had a long way to travel and was played slowly, which gave it time to deviate slightly, running against the nap of the cloth. Shouldn't have missed that. But was trying to pot it with as thick a contact as possible to hold position. Ended up hitting the red too thick. Overran his intended position. The red above the black can't be possible, otherwise, Gould would be playing it. 
fighting guild. Three. That was just about the best shot open to him. He knew there was a red lying on the bought cushion, but by leaving it straight, he knew that it would be a difficult pot for Dot. And also, he, Dot wouldn't have the angle to send the red back up the table with a safety and leave the cue ball in, in the position that the red was in. So Gould is able to get his bridge hand on the bed of the table. Well, not quite. Comfortable bridging though. Dot wants that red to run, but it's not run as far as he would have liked. Eight. Nine. Just a reminder, the players are competing for a hundred pounds per frame. Top four in the round robin go into tomorrow evening's group semi finals. Fifth place finisher 60. can come back for group seven. 
which is in March. I don't know quite what the query is. Ladies, ladies, sorry, we can just hear you out there. Oh. All right, thanks. The players can hear extraneous noise, which we couldn't. Okay, 70. An anxious backward look, fearing that he'd overrun his position for the back red. But he is all right. Red in a colour needed. Fifty-four. And it was pretty straightforward. Above all, make sure the black here. Leave dot needing two snookers. It would have been a cardinal sin to miss the black straining for position. Martin Gould, sixty two. So 65 in front, only 59 left on.
Really, apart from that. Pink's as good as black, actually, in terms of uh, his needs. Still needs only two snookers, despite not having taken the black. Sir. The second pink, though, means that it's now 40. two snookers to tie. 50. On table one. Lee Hang has completed a 3-0 victory over Michael White. decided not to take red black but instead try to lay a snooker in the hope of engineering a free ball but uh, didn't play the shot quite right So Dot concedes, so Martin Gould, having been 2-0 down, has reduced his arrears to 2-1. The second match hasn't started on table one yet so we can't bring you any action from there Lee Hang having defeated Michael White in three straight frames Just to repeat that the five group winners so far, Zhou Yu Long, the very promising 18-year-old Chinese, Mark Selby, the world champion, Karen Wilson, who was runner-up in the Masters at the weekend, Ali Carter, and last evening, Mark Williams. As I said, players are competing for £100 a frame in the seven-man round robin, and that rises to £300 a frame in the group semi-finals and final, and there are also prizes of £3,000 for the group winner, £2,000 for the runner-up, and £1,000 for the losing semi-finalists. Probably favourite for this group, as he was for Group 5, is Judd Trump, 
who in fact uh, to topped the round robin in group five but was beaten 3-2 in the semi-finals by Ricky Walden Rainfall. who in turn lost 3-1 th to Mark Williams in the final Trump will, will be in action later today Good red from Dot. Cue ball ran a little too far for comfort. Was intending to pot a bork colour to continue the break, but can only tickle behind the green. Frame Dot. One. to middle but a lot of balls to bridge over One. couldn't do much for, with the cue ball But it turned out that the black was not all that difficult. Eight. Not a kind outcome. Perfect. Oh. 
Park. Very, very yeah, unlucky. That's a good foot. Dot pulled off the thin cut to corner. And any other contact on the on the green other than full ball and he would have had an easy continuation. Well, cross double combined with the safety shot, but the safety shot element went horribly wrong. <coughs> Here's a chance for Dot to clinch frame and match. Twenty one. <clears throat> Fifty in front. over the line in terms of his opponent Seven. needing snookers. Nicely blade cannon to develop an awkward red. But this is just a lap of honor now. 51. 52. Dot knows that he's won. left to make a century but Dot finishing off his 3-1 win very nicely
68. Seventy-five. There were twenty centuries in Group Five. We've had one this morning on the other table from Lee Hang, but I think the twenty in a group is a record. I'm not sure about that. Anyway, this wasn't a century. It was a 93 clearance, and it enabled Graham Dot to 